The hormone insulin binds to the alpha subunits of insulin receptor INSR. This binding triggers a conformational change in INSR. This conformational change allows the autophosphorylation of tyrosine residues in the carboxyl terminal domain of the beta subunits of INSR in the cytosol. INSR phosphorylates IRS1 on its tyrosine residues. SH2 domain of GRB2 binds to phosphorylated tyrosine of IRS1. Then SOS binds to GRB2. Then SOS binds to RAS. This binding causes the release of GDP and binding of GTP to RAS. As a result the RAS get activated. This active RAS binds and activates RAF1. Active RAF1 phosphorylates inactive MEK on two serine residues activating it. Active MEK phosphorylates ARK on a threonine and a tyrosine residue. As a result ARK becomes active. The active ARK moves into the nucleus and phosphorylates nuclear transcription factors such as ALK1 and activating them. Phosphorylated ALK1 joins SRF to stimulate transcription and translation of a set of genes to form new proteins. These new proteins are needed for cell division. MAP kinase or MAPK is mitogen activated protein kinases. ARK belongs to MAP kinase family. MAK belongs to MAP kinase kinase family. RAF1 belongs to MAP kinase 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 family. So this cascade or chain of reaction is called as MAP kinase cascade. Please do not forget to subscribe like and press the bell icon to see more videos on my channel.